Few films have had such an impact as last year's The Dam Keeper, directed by Robert Kondo and Dice Satsumi. The film stands out as having a visual depth to it rarely seen in short film, the duo pooling their talents as concept artists as well as set and lighting specialists. The idea to produce a short independently began during their time at Pixar whilst working on Monsters University. At the time we were in the heat of production, like we were busy, like it was kind of that time where it gets really crunchy, everyone's a little stressed out, and in the middle of all of this chaos of production, Dice just was like, hey, what do you think about when this is all done? We will go make a film. And uh, it was a little bit crazy to me, because most people talk about, hey, when this is all done, like, I think I'm gonna take some time off. And Dice wanted to take time off, but in that time off, he wanted to make a film. And, you know, at the time, uh, Dice had just finished making all of the paintings for this small short film he had done for Sketch Travel. He had done almost this cross between very limited animation, but taking his paintings and animating it uh, just enough to kind of get it one step above almost a, a children's book. It was like a children's book come to life a little bit. And uh, he had done this test and he said, well, you know, we paint, we learn to paint like each other. What if we went and made a film that capitalized on that. Like, I was able to do this on my own. If there were two of us, like, could you imagine the, the things we could do? And I was really excited about the idea that what we might be able to do. Like, it's such an appealing idea that even in the heat of production, it felt like it was a good idea that sometime in the future when this is all, when Monsters University is all wrapped up, we'll take three months off and, and go work on this film. And so for about a year, um, while we were in Monsters University, knowing that's where we wanted to go, we started to write before and after uh, work. And on the weekends, we'd get together and kind of write. And, you know, it was a tough process, writing uh, The Dam Keeper. Um, but, but, you know, we kind of, it was, it was the first time we had written. Uh, the point of, of the whole project overall was really to collaborate. Uh, we didn't have this idea. I think a lot of people do a short film out of this moment of, oh my gosh, that story is amazing and we have to tell it. This was much more of, hey, let's work together. I'm excited about the, the possibilities and the potential seems very wide open. Let's go and see what some of that potential might look like. And because of that, we spent over a year writing almost five, we went through five different story versions of the film. was a believable world and, and I think like both of us really enjoy when when a world becomes impermanent um, when things don't seem like they can last forever um, I think that's an aspect of, of uh, animation that you know animation that embraces that idea this idea of permanence or the idea that your characters can change is some of the our favorite animation we had this kind of uh, idea of uh, our story kind of dealing with the pollution which is very you know um, contemporary kind of a reality that we all deal with these days but um, we wanted to sort of indicate visually our main character's internal struggle like his own darkness and how his own has he starts to get overcome with his own demon and uh, we have this kind of parallel symbolism you know with this pollution uh, and you know what's happening internally uh, within our, our character because it was such a learning experience for us we wanted to make sure that the crew was also in that same space of expanding their roles and uh, you know the production though I've got to say was amazing it didn't fit within the three months we took off we took nine months to complete production it went from an eight minute film to an 18 minute film I mean we didn't take nine months off but we went back to work after three months uh, so we had to work and and spend nights and weekends and mornings um, to work on the film to finish the film so overall it, it was a nine months production including post-production um, 
But uh, yeah, what we said was it had to be a learning experience for not just for you know for all of us, but uh, for both of us. But it's for the entire crew. We have to provide this learning experience. That was something we were very conscious of. Um, and also, uh, when we started, we said we have to finish this film. Like we can't turn this into one of those never-ending. Story or the production that we become too precious about, and we can't just let it go. Like we have to finish this. It's our first film. If it doesn't, you know, uh, come out as good as we hope, it's okay. We'll do another one. That was the mentality we mm-hmm. promised ourselves to stick with. A lot of people thought it was a 3D animated film with the painterly kind of texture over it, which is is kind of like a really nice compliment uh, for our crew because. Uh, uh, we painted frame by frame on Photoshop, um, you know, based on the 2D line, you know, hand-drawn animation. Uh, the idea was that we, from the get-go, we wanted to animate light. And I think that's one of those things that, uh, that's maybe unique about our film. Uh, we, we animated frame by frame the light and uh, how characters interact with the light and stuff. And we designed the light so that the light actually has a little, you know, sort of a huge sort of a cinematic components to the film and storytelling. Um, it looks three dimensional because of it maybe. Um, and uh, that's probably why we get this uh, confusion from the audience that maybe was done in 3D. And, and uh, that's pretty cool um, that people think that. In the end, we had a, quite a big crew, uh, about 70 people altogether, including you know, sound designers and music composers and, and musicians and all of them included. But mainly, we had a core group of about, let's say, 20, 25 people who spent quite a bit of time with us. Uh, a lot of them were young artists who just sort of started uh, their career after graduating school. Um, at the time of production. They really learned very quickly and in the end they started to surprise us. Uh, They definitely did way more than we expected and uh, to see that growth in your own crew was tremendously rewarding. After the Dam Keeper was done we left Pixar and we went out on our own to make Tonko House and you know purposely we, we titled the studio we wanted to make Tonko House and the reason why we called it a house is because we just wanted to be involved with narrative overall, you know, largely focused, I think, in animation for now, but I think we're just so fascinated with where the world is going and the possibilities of where narrative fits into that, that um, we were excited about also taking our, the one thing that we've made together, the Dam Keeper, and starting to push that into different arenas, like making product. I mean, you know, part of the fun of making a film is the extra stuff, like, uh, making silkscreen prints uh, that our character designer Chris Sasaki made, making postcards and pins and you know what's great is like also it helps us to recuperate some of the expenses we had while making the film Um, but more than anything we're trying to make quality product and and make stuff that we're happy to have and happy to share you know it helps to promote the film of course but um, there's a lot of great things about it but creatively we're really um, excited about that and being able to share the film all around the world um, at these different festivals I mean I think the greatest thing is that you know we have people out there who have been following us and artists out there who have been supporting us for such a long time because you know the film finished almost a year ago and we also want to make sure that that first time that people see it if it's not in a theater that it's in, it's in a great context so we're trying to figure that out right now um, so that people can enjoy the film, especially people who have been following us for so long. We really, we really appreciate it.